Zara Tyndall and Princess Beatrice, nieces of King Charles, recently attended Wimbledon with their husbands, relying on the event's existing security measures, according to royal commentator Gareth Russell. Neither Zara, 43, nor Beatrice, 35, holds a working role within the royal family, hence their attendance was in a personal capacity. In contrast, Queen Camilla, as a senior working royal, received taxpayer-funded security from the Metropolitan Police during her visit to Wimbledon. Russell told GB News about the security arrangements for Zara and Beatrice at Wimbledon, emphasizing that such high-profile events inherently have built-in security. He noted that Wimbledon, being a major event, not only attracts royals like Zara and Beatrice but also numerous celebrities. While there's no equivalency in terms of constitutional significance, both royals and celebrities are frequently the targets of stalkers or people who wish them harm, Russell explained. Therefore, comprehensive security measures are always in place at such events. Since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepped back from royal duties, they have visited the UK together a few times, although Harry has made more frequent solo trips. A royal expert suggests a particular reason that makes it unlikely Meghan will join Harry on future UK visits, which is quite disheartening. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have relinquished many aspects of royal life, including their police security funded by taxpayers. This loss has posed significant challenges for the couple, especially Meghan, in spending time in the UK. Jenny Bond, a former BBC royal correspondent, told OK magazine that the lack of police security is a major reason Meghan didn't accompany Harry on a recent trip to celebrate 10 years of the Invictus Games. Bond explained, I think it is pretty unlikely that Meghan will join him at the service given Harry's concerns about safety.